Yeah. Well, I've got to ask, like, what was it about this project by Stephen that intrigued you, interested you? It was Stephen. Mm. Uh, he uh, sent me, he offered me the film, and he sent me a short film that he did for his thesis project at UCLA, which had already won some awards, and I was incredibly impressed with it. I thought immediately, this is a really talented guy. This guy knows how to tell a story, and he seemed supremely talented, especially for such a young age. And he also sent me a short short film he'd done to introduce this film to other, the, the idea of this film to other people. And between the two things, I just felt he was a real storyteller. And I like telling stories if somebody knows how to tell them. And so I signed on very quickly. Now you've spent so many years in New York. I mean, so you know the that, that big Northeast style. But is Cleveland something you were familiar with and knew? I was familiar with Cleveland. I had shot a movie there about two years before that. And I'd been there for about five weeks. And it had become kind of my home. And I really liked it. I loved it there. Um, they have great restaurants, by the way. Have you been there? Yeah, it's really once, awesome. a long time yeah, ago. It's really awesome. And so I was really comfortable going back. We were shooting in different areas than what I was <laughs> shooting in because this is much more of an urban kind of movie. But um, but I loved it. And seeing it through Steve's eyes because it's his home city was was really was really interesting. And working with a lot of local people who were fantastic and um, you know just great great talent there. Do you mind if I ask what's the most unique city you've been able to visit, either for you know film or any you know arts? You know, I've been lucky. I really, I don't know about unique, but I've loved shooting in, in Texas, by the way. I've shot in Austin a couple times, and I've shot in San Antonio, and, uh, but I've been lucky to shoot in Santa Fe, which is gorgeous, and um, Albuquerque, and Paris. I shot in Paris. That's not so bad. It's not bad at all, yeah. It's <laughs> not bad. Definitely in New York, you know. You go where the story is and where it's going to be told, so. And the last question, uh, this being a coming-of-age story about these young men and being sort of a, a way, Stephen, to tell his story, Story. What do you hope people gain from this? Well, you know, I look forward to seeing it tonight because I haven't seen it. Mm. So it's, I don't quite know how it all turned out because you can sign on for a movie, but then what happens in the end, you don't know. But what inspired me at the beginning was I was very moved by the fact that these young men are really trying to find a way out that is artistic for them and makes sense for them. In this case, it's skateboarding. But they, they want to create, they want to express themselves, and they're seeking a better life. And uh, that's really hard under those circumstances with the things that they're up against. And that's a good story to tell. Well, thank you for coming back to Dallas. Thanks, and thank you so much. Nice to meet you.